Hello and welcome back to Virtual Mac YouTube channel. My name is Neil McLaughlin, aka The Virtual Mac. On this channel, you find the latest news about Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows Switch 5, Nerdio, Intune, Enter ID, and much, much more. In today's video, we're going to show you how to use FS Logics with Enter ID cloud only accounts. Okay, so not many people know this, but there's actually a workaround to get this working. Officially, this is not available yet from Microsoft. It's coming soon, apparently. Um, but at the moment, if you wanted to use cloud only accounts and use FS Logics, you basically have to create a Active Directory or Enter ID domain services um, and then basically sync your um, user accounts to Enter ID. Using this workaround, we're going to show you how to get around that. Okay. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to create a storage account. We're going to show you the settings to how to configure that and then we'll test that out and then we'll show you the solution. Okay. So looking forward to today's video. Let's get going. So now basically what we need to do, we need to create a storage account. Um, so we're going to create a storage account within Azure and then we're actually going to go and create a file share as well. Okay. So let's head over to the Azure console and then kick this off. So I'm in the Azure console. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is going to go and click on create. Okay. So we're going to use my subscription and then we're going to create a storage account name, which will be cloud only test five four three two one or three two two whatever and we need something that's individual right um because um these storage account names have to be individual um globally right they can't be um just individually in your own environment they have to be um individual globally right okay so prime service i'm going to select that as azure files um i'm going to use standards here just for the sake of testing um for the storage uh, but obviously in a uh, production environment, you use premium. And then um, redundancy, I'm just going to select LRS. Again, obviously within a production environment, uh, you use either ZRS or, LR or GRS. Okay, so I'm just going to select LRS uh, because it's my dev environment, so I don't really care. Um, so we're going to click next. Um, nothing that we're going to change here. It's just going to be the, the default settings. Okay, I'm going to click next. Uh, network access again i'm just going to leave this at the default settings but again in a production environment i'll be selecting um either enable public access from select virtual networks and ip addresses or disable public access and use private access if i had um, private endpoints um configured in the environment which we don't so we don't need that okay select next again i'm just going to leave um these settings as default uh, we don't need to change any of this um, encryption type, we're going to use Microsoft Manage Keys um, and then we're going to select support for blobs and files only. Okay, we're going to select next. We don't need any tags configured, so that's pretty much all we have to do. So we're just validating everything in there, everything is good. And um, so now we just go and click on the create button. So that's basically going to go away and create the, the file share, and so the storage account. Um, and then when we've done the storage account, we'll come back and actually create the file share. So we have our storage account created. So now we need to go to file shares. Okay. And we don't have any file shares created yet. So we're going to go and create one. Right. So you see here, we've got identity based access, default shell permissions disabled. Um, so normally when you're creating an entry ID storage account or if you're joining it to the main, um, you'd see those as enabled, right? So. I guess a big caveat to this is obviously um, from a security perspective, it's probably not as secure um, because we're going to rely on only the, the access the storage access keys and also the NTFS permissions on the storage account um, for security. Whereas if you were doing it by Kerberos, um, as in joining it to Enter ID or Active Directory, you're using that Kerberos authentication as a layer of security um, because we're going to use the share level permissions um, and then also the uh, NTFS permissions. But in this method, we're basically using the um, storage access keys um, and the NTFS permissions as well. Okay, so obviously, if those storage account keys were compromised, um, and then there is a security risk there that um, you could get anyone could get access to storage, but they're still locked down with NTFS permissions, um, but obviously they can be overridden as well. So that's a big caveat to this method that is probably not as secure as Kerberos, um, but if you need it as a solution, um, and as long as you can protect those storage account keys, um, then it's probably an okay solution to use. Okay, all right, so let's create the file share. So we're gonna use this uh, FS Logics 
cloud only so that's my share name that i'm going to create um, and then we're going to click review i'm going to go to the backups just so we can go through these so you can see what settings there are so um we don't need to do any backups so i'm going to untick that just to make this really simple uh, we're going to review that and then we're going to click create Okay, so that's going to go away and basically create that file share. So that file share is now created. Okay, so we've got the storage account and we've got the, the file share. Okay, so next we need to get the access keys, right? So these are what we're going to use to basically use as authentication to the storage account. So let's go over to our storage account. So I'm going to go to here. Resource group, so we're going to go to the resource. So then if we go over to access keys, um, and then here you'll see the access key. I'm not going to show it to you because obviously I don't want my environment compromised. Um, but if you click the show button, that's where we get the access keys from. Um, and then we're going to use that um, to basically write a script, uh, which will uh, basically mount the file share um, when the, the host has started up. So now we actually need to create a scripted action, um, which contains everything that we need um, to, to mount the storage. So let's head over to Nerdio console. So essentially we're going to go to the Nerdio console, which I've got here. Okay. And then we're going to go to add scripted action. So we're going to call this FS logics cloud only. Um, and then we're basically going to go to and copy the script that we've got um, from the KB article, um, which is this thing here. So I'm going to select this. And we're going to go into the scripted action. So we're going to click create. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be the storage account FQDN. Okay. And the password is going to be the storage account key. Right. So again, let's head over to the uh, con the Azure console and grab the storage account key. So if we click storage account, and then if we go to uh, access keys, uh, click show, and then copy that to the clipboard. Go to here and then we basically paste that um, into here. So click on this. Okay, that's the MD key that XE. Um, it's going to add that um, storage account. Okay, um, to the session host. So then it's going to check if HKLM software policies, Microsoft Windows, Azure AD account exists. Um, if it doesn't, it's going to create it. Okay, and then it's going to create that um, this judge setting as in. Um, load credit key from profile okay so we're going to select that and then we're going to select save and close right so that's our scripted action essentially and um, so next we're going to go and basically create a host port um, and then i'll configure this script to run um, a startup um, and then we'll use the the fs logic profile path to configure that as well so now we need to go and configure the fs logic configuration settings within the nerdio console um, so we know um, what share that needs to be mounted okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to um, settings i'm going to go to the integrations and then we're going to create a new fs logic profile All right so i'm going to click add um, we're going to call this fs logic cloud only okay um, and then basically what i'm going to select is um the profile path i'm actually going to paste that in right so we've got the the profile path that we need here so it's going to be this one yep we're going to select that and then there's another setting that we need to configure and um, which is basically going to be access network as computer objects okay so this this setting here okay so this enables um the the, the file share to mount so um, we're going to set this to one so by default this is set to zero so we need to enable this so we click in the details tab here you basically tells you um, attach this computer right um so we're not going to attach this to user we're going to attach this to computer so folder must have permissions for computer objects right so we're going to select that to yes okay or one as it were um and that's pretty much all we're going to do we're going to configure all the other settings, we're just going to leave those as default. But if you needed any additional um, FS Logic configuration settings, um, you set these um, within here. Okay. We don't need to configure anything for Entry ID because we're not using Entry ID for authentication. All right. Remember. So all we're setting is this um, setting um, to access network as computer objects. Okay. Okay. All right. So we configured that. 
Um, so we're going to select OK. So that's literally all I have to do for the effort of the configuration. Um, so next, I'm going to go and create the, the host pool um, with the session host. And then we're going to create a cloud only account. And then we're going to test this solution. So now we're going to create a cloud only account, right? So this will be the account that we're going to use to test this solution. So let's head over to the console. Um, so just click on add user, create new user and do this cloud only test. Okay. Uh, display name cloud only test. And then I'm going to just create my own password. Okay. And then uh, we just click enabled. So review and create um, create that. So that's created the cloud only account. And um, so next we'll go and actually um, wait for this host to create. Then once this host is created, um, we'll log on and, and test the solution. Okay, our host is created. So I'm just going to go through with you and review um, the configuration settings which you've put on the host, right? So if we go to the, to the host pool, um, basically what we've got is Obviously, we've, we're joining the host to enter ID, okay? Um, but the thing which I've added is the, the effort logic configuration, right? So that's going to be our storage account and file share, yeah? Um, then we configure the access network as computer as object setting. That's set to one, okay? Um, but also what we've added on is this uh, scripted action, and that's the uh, register settings which configure uh, the CMD, key, CMD key, okay? Um, so, yeah, that, that's what we've done. Um, we created the cloud only account, right? So the next thing to do is actually going to log on and test this. So now we want to assign the, the user um, to the account, so to the host pool, sorry. Um, so we're going to go to the Nerdia console, go to manage, user groups, um, and then search for that cloud only account that we configured previously. Okay. So search for cloud. So we've got cloud only test. Okay. So this is the one here. And then we're just going to click on the assign button, and then click on the OK. And that's basically going to assign the virtual user logon um, permissions. And then um, it's going to uh, enable us to log on to the session host. So the user has been created. The host has been created. Everything has been configured. So let's go and test this. Right. So I've already authenticated. Um, so you can see here we've got the, the cloud only test user. So I'm just going to launch this and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to log on to the session host. So we're now logged on to the session host. So let's go and have a look and see um, if this to make sure that we're using the, the FSRT profile. Okay, so if we head over to the C, the program files, FS logics, apps, and then launch um, FRX tray. And that should tell us whether we're using an FSLTX profile or not. So you can see there that it's looking green. Okay, so that's worked. So that's us logging onto the session host using the FSLTX profile. And just to prove that, if we go to the um, the log file, so if I go to the uh, profile, so here we can see in the profile. Um, VHDX mounted so that that shows us that the, the profile is working okay so there we are we have created a cloud only account um, we've created an entry ID only session host and we've able to log on uh, and successfully mount the FSLT profile I hope you found today's video useful um, please like and subscribe and if you've got any questions please drop it in the comments thank you and goodbye <laughs>